this is the latest job. We've got a leak in the top pond of this system. Uh, it's a single line of the top pond and half of the cascade. So I'm basically going to strip the cascade out, take the edging off the pond, which I've started doing, and then replace the liner and underlay, overlapping it just about here. So there's no chance of water escaping. That's all the stonework stripped off. I'm actually going to leave this part of the liner in. I'll cut that off there. I'm going to dig that out and leave this in, put the other liner over the top because I'm not sure what the ground's like behind there. I think if I take that off, half the ground might just fall in. So I'm leaving that on, going over the top. I'm going to lift all of this liner out, reshape the shelves, add another shelf all the way around the sides to take the edge and stone, and then do another clip. That's the liner in the top pond removed, and the new shelves cut. These are new shelves in here, I flattened the bottom out as well because it was a bit of a state. So now it's ready for the underlay. That's the underlay in. Covering the whole lot. Now it's time for the liner. That's the liner in there, I'm just filling it up now. Hopefully the water will pull the liner into the shelves. And before it reaches the top shelf, around here, I'm going to turn it off. And then sort this bottom bit out. It's the liner in there. See the original liner here, way above and way behind where the water's going to be. So overlapping this on is going to make sure that the water just can't escape anywhere. Sides are nice and high. Water's in. Liner's pulled in quite tight. Stones will go straight under there. It's still nice and dry. But I'm going to start building up here from the bottom, just down here. I'll build up to here, put the spill stones in and then work my way around the pond. Started building the cascade up there. Basically it's just a continuation of what's happening with the bottom part of the cascade. Except this has got a bit more cement behind the wall. It's like a dry stone sort of effect but it's secured behind the wall with cement. Making sure to cross all the joints for added strength. And I'm just working my way up. That's the cascade part built up now. Put a few spill stones in there. And I've started with the edging stones. Any exposed cement, the likes of between the little gaps here, I've pushed gravel into them. Obviously some of the gravel will wash off, but it'll weather up really quick. So now it's on to doing the edges of the pond. That's a cascade and the top pond in. Obviously you can still see the liner around the sides. I'm going to use the excess soil here, fill in the gaps, then use more soil down the side of the cascade and it'll be just about done. That's about it for this job. Cascade's finished. Swept soil in all the way around it. Same with the top pond, obviously the water's still got to go up a couple of inches but um, I'm coming back to do this bottom pond, sort the edging out there so hopefully I'll get a good video of it actually running and let you see what it's like. As far as actually repairing the cascade and the top pond, this one's done.